Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another episode of the Bear Legacy Let's Play series. We are living our first day after Isla has left us and Chance is feeling obviously extremely sad. He is currently writing his autobiography with a heavy heart but he does have Isla's photos to keep him company although I imagine that would make you even more sad to be honest but either way he's doing that while Dante has gone up to just um, do a little bit of a workout. I'm not sure why he's looking like he is not having a good time on the workout machine or like the, the treadmill because I don't know maybe it's because he's very sad so he can't really do a very good workout but I think he's definitely trying to get it back in order like his fitness and everything he had a not active enough moodlet earlier too so I got reminded that he haven't actually worked out in a while so he's doing that and I saw this um, scythe and then I realized that Grim is still here I think we'll have to travel out of the lot to get him to leave us. It's like 11 a.m. These two are just two lonely guys <laughs> trying to survive life without mummy right now. Well, mummy and wife depending. I think Dante- oh my god, did you just fall off? Dante, this is so not you. But I feel like we can excuse that he's like this today because he's definitely very off. He's so sad about his mom's passing. Um, someone else has passed away for Chance because Chance actually knows a lot of people in his line of work but I don't know who that is so I'm just going to ignore that. But he's just writing. I'm not sure why the progress is so... We're not really doing a lot of progress again but hopefully he can get this done before he dies. I actually don't know but I'm gonna try. I really want him to work on his autobiography and make sure that it gets published before he um, passes finally. Okay so now that we've kind of gotten the um, kind of intro part away I'm gonna talk about what I plan to do today. It is new skill day so I think we're definitely going to get Dante to work on some skills. Anya you're here! Oh no I wonder if she's going to mourn mom or I'm not sure what she's doing but she's here. Um, we are very close to singing level 5. I'm just saying what else like we can work on easily. We're also close to cross stitching level 2, comedy level 7 and painting level 3. Those are the easiest for us too. Those are the easiest Oh, Hokori is feeling a little bit tense, I think, or angry. That's not good. Hokori, please. That's your new um, main owner. But we're feeding Hokori some plantain right now. So it's like, here, here you go. Well, I guess whatever it is that we're going to commit to doing, Dante's gonna be able to smash that out of the park very easily, I'm pretty sure. He can even like just go horse riding for a little bit and he'll get it all settled. But he's very tired <laughs> at 12. Um, and also hungry and stuff. I feel like today is a day where he deserves to get a needs filled potion, like a potion of plentiful needs because I feel like he deserves it. And also he can always make more so it's not really like a big deal. So he's going to drink this because um, I don't think he has time to go to sleep and stuff. The plan is that today we're definitely going to go and deal with the whole um, vampire cure thing. We've been waiting for way too long. I really want to get um, their wedding and everything get <laughs> started as well. Um, and he's ready. He already knows the recipe and everything. So definitely going to do that. Now we have all the needs in the world to do whatever we have to do, which involves us making the actual drink. I think we will actually make the drink. Um, and then... Or maybe we'll practice for a little bit. Okay, you know what? I think for Dante, right, he would definitely want to practice before he makes the drink because it's a very important drink. I imagine he would love to be prepared before he does actually make the drink. Let's have him practice a little bit, maybe until he levels up. Um, He's leveling up at... <laughs> he's only at um, 51% so he'll have to practice for a little bit but I don't mind having him doing a little bit of practicing um, the moment we reach level 4 I will get him to make the drink um, I just want to put in a little bit of a rule for myself because otherwise it's just if I feel like it's too easy even though we did wait until we had the ingredients I still feel like it's way too easy if anyone with like a modicum of skill to mix liquids together can make the vampire cure um, so I'm getting him to at least level 4 I think yeah uh, oh wait oh my god he wait 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 hold on <laughs> he's already level 4 <laughs> no no he learns things way too fast are you serious okay well I'm sticking to my word I'm just I just didn't know that he I mean I knew that he learns things very fast because of um does he oh, wait hold on I forgot what he had I mean other than the mor it's not even morning now you know what I mean like we have the morning stim which helps us build extra skill in the morning really easily um 
other than that, I'm not sure what else is enabling him to get skills. Oh, quick learner is quick. Okay, quick learner is definitely a part of his um talents. But I honestly don't know what else. So maybe it's the lot trait as well. I don't even know what lot. Do we even have lot traits on this household? We have study spot and great soil. You know what? I'm taking away study spot, and I might as well just put in some random stuff. Maybe we can help him learn even faster. Um, I mean like I did say 4 so but maybe homey is good yeah let's do homey as well I mean this house is actually homey and then if we do echo lot what if we do echo lot because we do have all the um, wind turbines and stuff or we could do natural well or geothermal so we can get like a heated pool at all times would that be nice I'd say echo lot because we do we, we are trying to make it an echo lot anyway so okay let's do that okay so we have some traits on the lot now I never really assigned it intentionally so now I'm doing that exactly wait he's almost a level 5 okay fine I'm just gonna wait until he's level 5 I just it's raising incredibly quickly he learns things way too fast wait what in, what even can you look at the speed that this thing is this bar is going up so quickly, my mind is blown. Look at that, he's almost at level 5. It's going up so quickly. Wow. Dante is unreal. How did I make a stim like this? <laughs> I don't even know. But he's very confident, which also probably helps as well. He's level 5 already. <laughs> I think this calls for us to finally make a like I literally am going to stick to my promise I actually like kind of went over my promise but yeah let's do that vampire cure wherever it is vampire cure where are you the ultimate vampire cure let's go it is the moment we have all been waiting for this is it okay we have made the drink it is looking a little underwhelming I'm not gonna lie and a little stinky looking and it's bubbling oh my gosh Look at that. Okay, we're putting that in Dante's inventory because no one here really needs it. I want to bring it over to Killian's house so that we can have him turn back into a human there. That was where he was turned into a vampire too. But before we go, I think I really want to see if we can um, wait for Chance to finish this book. I hope it is something that he can actually finish. Um, so I'm gonna get Dante to do something. I'm not sure what we have to do. Um, is there anything that's broken and needs fixing? Uh, no. I feel like our grandfather has helped us upgrade everything to... Okay, not every single one, but most of them are kind of upgraded. Okay, that's good though. Um, we don't really have anything else to do. There's nothing to harvest as well. Oh, there's some gardening to do. Let's do that. It's Sunday, there's no service or help coming to help us. Um, we do have a lot of um, empty rooms here, so I feel like... Because Killian and Maxwell are definitely moving in, that was like kind of the, uh, the, the, the light arrangement, the brief arrangement. We're definitely going to be repurposing one of these rooms and making it Maxwell's. I think I'm going to go for this one. I'm keeping Caden's room as it is because Caden is only away at university so I want him to still have a place to come home to. Um, because I think you wouldn't want to touch like your kid's room if, or your kids or your brother's room if they're just going away from university. It's not as if they've really officially moved out. And Chance is still here with us so obviously he keeps his room. And he can do whatever he wants. No, Chance has stopped writing because of writer's block again. So I'm gonna get him to go get his needs kind of steamed to get some leftovers, use the bathroom. Maybe we could watch some TV for inspiration as well. Let's watch a movie, watch Roaring Vice. And then Dante is just working on the garden. How lovely! Dante is so beautiful. I always say this because I always am in awe that. Oh, this family is just beautiful <laughs> and he's turned out to be such a amazing amazing heir as well I never thought that Dante would become this this sort of character but he did and it's very nice basically okay the horses need a little bit of tending too as well so we fill the feeder in the beds wait <laughs> Dante reached gardening level 9 no this is getting so fast because I think like all of these are homey skills as well like handiness um, gardening, mixology, cooking, that kind of stuff. Okay, so Chance. Chance is so sad. I feel like you need a shower, Chance. If you take a shower later, maybe even a bath, like a nice relaxing bath, you might be able to, you know, feel a little bit. But yeah, his um, writer's block is going down pretty fast. Look at the arrow. Yay, after this bath, he can go back. 
Yay, to writing. Okay, that's great. Please tell me you don't have to start all over. <laughs> like, I feel like he scrapped this book more times than I care to count at this point. Okay, we're not starting from scratch. But, oh, and we're missing the ocean. Okay, what if, hear me out, what if we go with Chance on a last vacation to Sulani? What if we do that? I feel like we should because Chance hasn't seen the ocean in such a long time and he's such a child of the ocean. We might get the siblings over, um, maybe when Kilian moves in as well, we're gonna get all of that settled. So maybe next episode we'll go. We'll go to Solani and um, have Chance and enjoy the ocean. And it might be a celebratory like congratulations on finishing your book. He's very tired. I'm gonna get Dante to brew some coffee so that Chance can drink some coffee instead of going to sleep. I think Dante is like supporting Chance in his like endeavor to finish his autobiography. So Dante is like just making sure that the whole house is running really well. And maybe I'll actually like make Dante go make his favorite drink for himself. Just cause why not? Because he just acquired such a high mixology skill he might as well go mix himself a drink. Maybe I'll get him to stop for a bit and then go grab a drink. He's so sad. His book is going to have a very sad tone, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, Chance, go and get yourself a cup of coffee. Maybe two cups. <laughs> you might need two cups of coffee. Um, Dante has made himself his... Um, what's this actually? Flaming Dr. Salt. Yeah, that's his favorite drink. So he'll be drinking that. Yeah, we'll just have him run some routine. Uh, run some errands around the house. Um, we might even have to make sure that we... <gasps> oh no! We didn't get Filippo to designate this box. Designate Keepsake. Oh, we can... I see. An elder sim can only do this one, so choose a keepsake box wisely. I think I'm just gonna designate this to, to Chance now, and then entrust keepsake box to Dante. Yeah, also I see that Kaden might be actually on the lot, but where's Kaden? Kaden, are you not in school? Are you here? Oh my god, Kaden, you're here! I think these kids are just like trying to, like they're all coming home to ensure that their parents are doing well <laughs> or like their parent i guess the dad's doing okay but yeah i'm gonna get a chance to ent entrust that box to dante of course i should have expected this and i love that we're doing this just in the kitchen because you know oh why is he glowing dante why are you glowing what is this is the ancestor shining down on him? Dante has been granted access to all the family secrets held within the keepsake box. He can add to it over time as well. Try not to lose it. Okay, Chance, um, please sit down and complete your book because you're holding us up. I want to go and help my vampire become not a vampire anymore, please. <laughs> Yay! Okay, let's see. Okay, he has just a little bit more to go. We're helping him by supporting him however he can. And is Caden still here or did we miss the window for him i think we missed the window okay oh my god wait what an achievement chance finished writing an entire book yay chance you're done with your biography this is your autobiography i want to publish it but i also kind of want to make a copy but we can't make a copy of this we can study it or read it hmm maybe we'll get a chance to read it before we go publish it because i want him to you know, see what he has done, what he has achieved in a book. Oh my goodness, the book is called Chance Bear. He's so sad, but he's been through a lot. His life has been actually pretty good, not gonna lie. Chance has, a, has had a very stable, very good life. Oh, and it's 9 p.m. I think it's time for us to go to Killian's. Um, Chance can be reading his book while we are away. So Dante's gonna leave now. He's gonna go to Killian's and he's going to deliver the drink. Hopefully it's not spoiled yet. Oh, three hours more until it spoils. Okay, let's go, let's go. Okay, Dante is now in the Lockwood's household and he's talking to Maxwell, whom he became good friends with very easily because he you know, Dante is a very charismatic, very friend of the world type of, type of sim. So we're going to get him to... I was actually getting him to talk to Maxwell, but you know what? It's okay, Maxwell. Your your time is coming. I will be controlling you soon, but we're... I don't know. Oh my god, we can't actually get up here? I didn't know that. <gasps> okay, that is... You know what? It's actually kind of symbolic for us to do this, like, in this very messed up room that was his parents. Although I'm not sure about actually having them flirt in this room. It does feel a little bit extremely inappropriate. Like, he looks a little bit tense. <laughs> oh no. Okay, well, 
uh, maybe Kinin is like, yeah, I don't feel very comfortable doing this in the room where my parents lost their lives. So we're just going to be like, um, should we give a friend? Let's give a friendly gift. Oh wait, why can't we do a, yeah, gift a friendly gift? We're gonna tell him that we made it. We made the cure. It is yours now. So we're gonna give. I'm not sure if giving it to the sim would have them drink it immediately. So if he doesn't drink it immediately, I'm gonna you know switch over and have him drink it. But. We're giving the ultimate vampire cure over to Killian right now. Killian's like, oh my god, you finally did it. I really hope this works. Oh, he's like, thank you so much for helping me. I've been waiting for this day for such a long time, but thank you. He's so happy. Are you going to drink it or are you just going to walk away? Actually, let's just observe him for like, until he goes downstairs. Because I really do want to know if he's going to drink it or not. Will you? Will you drink it? No, I think he's just going to... No, he's not. Okay, I'm going to switch households. We're with Killian right now and we're going to literally just get him to drink to cure vampirism. Let's go. This is so non-dramatic, I guess. He just like said cheers to his brother, who's not really actually watching him, but he's like, yes, cheers. I wish Dante was in the room, but I guess it's fine. We'll just get him to do- oh, yes. There we go! I think we're human again. I actually haven't gone into the UI yet, but Kill is Killian Killian is a human now? Yay! Our fiance is a human now. Yes, yes, we have a regular bar. Yay, Killian! I think he's gonna be so happy. He's gonna go and you know hug his brother. And Killian is how old? Killian has his entire young adulthood. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, Killian is just a fresh fresh young adult while on the other hand um dante who is playing violin maybe to celebrate i'm not sure he is not going to be a young adult for much longer so you know the thing is dante is actually very capable of having him maintain his own age with like spellcaster abilities and stuff so actually that just popped into my head but i think we'll be able to do something um along the lines of getting dante to age down a little bit i don't mind leaving with dante for a little bit longer although it would mean that his siblings would all pass faster than he will so we'll have to think about it let me know what you think as well because i don't think i'm going to do it in this episode i want to hear what you guys have to say about um, this idea of him like aging back downwards with magic I think it's possible or at least like just pause aging for a little bit I'm not sure how we're gonna do it but if we can do it or if I can just like cheat it down and say it's magic um, do you think I should just so that he can spend more he can have more time with Killian I think that might be nice so we're just going to come over here and spend her with old friends um actually it would be nice if he expressed fear for vampires as well how do you do that again confess fear of vampires yeah because i want um killian to express like the worry that maybe if the vampires that turned him into a vampire sense that he also turned back into a non-vampire maybe they will come after him like killian is telling him that it might happen it might not he doesn't know but he's worried and dante's like you know don't worry about it because like i'm here i will be able to help you i have magic <laughs> so i think dante is going to be reassuring killian that there is nothing to fear he's going to be there to protect him as much as possible so yeah i think that's gonna be how it is and i really do want to change back to dante's um uh, are they going to like just kid oh no he's just talking okay they're enthusing about their upcoming wedding which i think killian will as well He's like, oh my goodness, now that we are, now that I am no longer a vampire, we can, uh, we can get married soon, you know, and all that. And they'll definitely be talking about like moving out and stuff because Dante has already like kind of, um, you know, discussed with him about that situation. And Killian is definitely very for that. I think they can definitely feel very happy moving out. Also, because of the offer to buy the property, so they will always have this property with them. Um, they don't have to worry about losing this property, they just don't have to live here. Until he or Maxwell is ready to move back and face their past in a sense, or like just give this a facelift slash renovate it so that it's nicer. Ignore the ambulance in the background, oh my gosh. But also I hope whoever's in the ambulance is doing alright of course. <laughs> Since we're going to be having Killian and Maxwell move in with us, I think we're not gonna do it right now. I wanna switch back to Dante first. Okay, back to Dante now. So I'm going to- oh, we have bills. Oh, $14,000 bills! Okay, but we do have one of the biggest lots in game. So let's get that done before I forget. 
okay then there's like hold on i need to pay this bill first then um yeah we were saying anyways i think donkey is going to give him a share deeply personal thoughts and be like i'm really happy that i found you and i was able to help you and i love you so much he's going to caress um killian's cheeks and also maybe give him a little kiss i'd say not a suave one maybe an intense kiss yeah just to you know reaffirm his love for him like i really love you so much i'm so happy that you got what you wanted i wouldn't have minded if you were a vampire although i would have it would have it would have sucked if i had to die before you or to have you watch me as i die because you know dante is not immortal i mean he could become an immortal spellcaster but you know uh, that's not the goal of this uh, legacy and he doesn't really want it himself so yeah he's just telling he, he's just making his feelings known to Killian. he's very very flirty now so i think i'm gonna get these two because max has already gone to sleep these two are going to go celebrate a little bit downstairs um one last time and then i think dante is going to go home actually he's just going to teleport home and then he's saying like you guys pack up wherever you need i'll come back here in the morning oh Chance has lost his workaholic lifestyle. I just saw this. Okay, well, it's fine. I mean, we don't really need it. I think maybe he's reevaluating life now that his wife died and he also doesn't have long to live. Uh, but yeah, okay, so these two are gonna go celebrate in bed. And also, after this, I'm gonna just teleport Dante back to the lot and officially move Killian and Maxwell in tomorrow. We're coming over to pick them up, but Dante's like, okay, spend tonight to say goodbye to this place, pack up whatever you need, and I will see you tomorrow. I will teleport all of us back to Brindleton Bay. Okay, it's now the next morning and Killian is out in the sun which is so amazing and um, he just called Dante to come over to pick them up because they're ready now, they got their stuff packed up, Dante is going to knock on the door. Obviously he is um, and yeah even Max has a phone, oh lovely. I mean like obviously kids nowadays, who doesn't have a phone? Oh I understand why he's on the phone now. He's getting a school warning because they're supposed to have school. I forgot to get him to take a day off. But it's okay, little Maxwell. We'll just be taking this day off. Your brother has just forgotten to tell the school that you couldn't go today. But it's okay. It's an important day for you guys. You guys are moving to a new place. He's so excited. Um, and yeah, we're going to say goodbye to this really nice little cottage over here. Sorry for the camera going haywire and Dante is coming to us like if this is everything that they have and Kenyan's like yes affirmative and then they're gonna go they're gonna Dante is gonna be like okay I'm going to zap this all back home for you so Dante has zapped that back so now it's time for them all to go home as well so let's go let's go I'm so excited okay we just got back to our lot and Dante is not officially asking Kilian to join the household now and Kilian's I mean obviously he has already agreed to join but we are officially asking now in game and we're going to move these and their family and all of their money oh my god we're gonna we're so rich yeah so basically like Killian did have a bit of savings from like his parents um bank accounts saved up at home so this is basically the amount of money that his parents had i imagine like because his parents were vampires before they had a long long life to earn as much money as they could have this feels a little cheaty yes but um i'm just going to you know have this so we're definitely just rich now and we're selling all lot furnishings but we're going to buy that house back so this is going to help us because we're going to use part of this amount to go support that um property for us there we go we are officially a millionaire and officially we have of two more sims living with us now the way we wanted it to be look at how excited these two are oh my goodness all right so a couple of things we do have to do i kind of want to go buy that property but maybe we'll deal with the paperwork later um their stuff are already in the house like dante has made sure and chance is coming down after a workout I don't know. Um, to greet to the newcomers. Adopt us care dependent. Yes, definitely. Hi, nice to meet you. I heard so much about you. Are you excited to be living here with us? I think Maxwell is very pure and stuff. So Maxwell's gonna be like, yes, I'm so happy. Your house is awesome. I mean, how would it not be, right? There is like a tree house. Maxwell has definitely taken note of that. And obviously when he first... Oh my god, that's a rainbow. It is a good... <gasps> it is a good omen. There is a, ra there is a rainbow. <laughs> Oh my gosh, there is a rainbow! This is definitely a good omen if I've ever seen one. Um, yes, Maxwell has definitely taken notice of the, the tree house at least, and then also like noticed that this is like a really big house. He doesn't actually know how big it's gonna be, but he saw horses as well because 
there is one right there and I think Wildfires was there as well so he's very very excited to be here and these two are also very happy as well so Dante is going to come up here give his dad a loving hug and then Killian's going to come over here as well and he is going to also give Chance a hug as well to say hi is there no gate here accidentally oh my god wait is there no what happened to the gate here okay there we go we fixed it i didn't know that i removed the gate it doesn't really match but i rather they are able to get in we'll just worry about a design later but for now it's okay it's like it's fine it's not too bad as long as they can get in what happened to my gate oh my gosh okay so Killian, go in and um, talk to your new dad or rather your partner's dad same same but yes go 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 um but also i got a very sad announcement oh, oh my god look at that Killian saying hi to chance and chance is welcoming them in very warmly chance of course he knew about um the plans for these two to move in with them and of course he was all for it and they've actually prepared a whole feast uh, to welcome them so we got some berry toast some fizzy pink cupcakes and some i guess some vegetables to balance out the meal just so that the two brothers feel really welcome on their first day home with them um, and then of course we will be showing Maxwell his room not that it's done yet it's still an old room but I think Dante is gonna pull some magic and be like okay let me know what theme you want I'll make it happen for you like in a snap of my finger and then obviously Killian's gonna move into Dante's room which is designed basically to Dante's um, tastes so maybe Killian would want to add some of his own flavor to the room over time as well I think that's gonna be kind of fun but yeah all these people are going to start eating chance has already started digging in himself Killian went for a cupcake i think he's very happy to like you know be able to eat food like this again because he was a vampire he couldn't eat anything <laughs> he didn't like food he just had to drink plasma he definitely missed the flavors of food like this but yes um like I was saying, I got some sad news last night while we were making preparations for the move-in. Chance has gotten his It's Almost Chance's Time Make the Most of These Final Days. He's gotten that um, notification, which means he's gonna leave us in a couple of days, which makes me very sad. Which means that he has to wrap up some loose ends, including giving Dante all of his collection, which he will have a lot more than um, Isla, seeing that he was the previous heir. Um, so we'll get him to come over here first, because I want him to publish his book. I think I'm going to get him to sell to publisher. I don't think he will sell a autobiography to a literary digest. It just makes no sense, even though it gives you a lot of money. We don't really need money anymore. Look at this. We don't need money anymore. So we're just going to sell this to publisher. Um, so the publisher can publish this for us and we will be earning royalties from it. I'm not sure if the household will still earn royalties from books from dead sims. I hope it does work that way so that the sim that has passed away can still provide for their family a little bit more. But okay, Chance is now a notable newcomer. In my eyes, Chance is always actually famous because he's a politician and at this point he's national leader. The whole world should know him. So oh my god, the rainbow is so cute. So like i said i think i'll need to start moving his entire inventory into dante's inventory now which will take me a while so i'll just pop back in a little bit but um what do i want to say before that yeah he's famous already we don't need get famous to tell us that we're famous he has been famous for a long time being a politician and yeah i will be just focusing on getting his inventory in order i'll be back very very quickly okay we're back i have done everything um trans has a couple of unfinished things to do like okay i'm just telling this homework we don't need that so he has a small little hoop to finish i'll get him to finish this and then he also has sheet music he was trying to write a sentimental piece and he doesn't have a violin right now we, do we just take all the violins yeah it's in dante's inventory so i'm gonna get that out because i want him to complete writing that song um, I think we have to come here and resume a sentimental piece. I want him to complete more things because he's still our heir. I want him to have a fulfilling um, rest of his life, however little time he does have left. And then um, everything else is sort of complete. So I think it's time for us to show the two their rooms. Oh, how sweet. Anya is calling to check in on Chance. He is definitely. And yeah, so Dante is here right now showing Maxwell his late grandfather's room. It's not really a bad thing. Thing. It's just you're going to take over his legacy now, so we are 
definitely adopting as care dependent as well by the way and then we're gonna hug him lovingly and tell him that this is going to be his new room now Killian is just watching being so happy I feel like he's still looking around thinking that he can't believe that this is happening so I'm not sure what interaction I can use to ask him about maybe interest oh my god welcome Maxwell to household I didn't know there was such an interaction but yes definitely welcome Maxwell to the household another hug yeah definitely I can't wait to explore the place it's a whole new adventure it is it is a whole new adventure it's so big for you I think he's gonna be so excited he definitely wants to um, check out the treehouse and um, ride the horses that kind of stuff um, we will teach him about plants as well but I do want to ask him about his interests or like does he even get do we even get to get to know his interests maybe not yet huh Okay, maybe we'll have to do interest then. Just discuss his interest. I think discuss interest is probably the best. Oh, he hates Miss Cheer. And Maxwell just put a prank on him. It's okay. So we're going to ask Maxwell, like, what does he want um, for his new room? I'll make it happen for you in a little bit. And then he's like, okay, I want I want a jungle themed room. Dante is like, oh, you want a jungle themed room? Okay, I will do a jungle themed room for you. Just one moment. Just close your eyes. And we are done. Our jungle theme room is jungle themed now. Let me show you how it looks like. Oh, I'm so proud of it. Look at that. I think Maxwell's kind of like not believing his eyes. Like, wow, in just an instant, Dante has changed the entire room into his dream room. And he's like, this is so awesome. He can't even imagine life becoming even better anymore. But he's just so, so, I think like, and Maxwell is going to be super duper happy so I think I'm gonna to go to Maxwell right here and he's going to say you're my favorite <laughs> in front of Killian um, and then tell Free Story I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do this and then um, talk about worst color definitely not green I think Maxwell likes green quite a bit and Killian's just really really happy to see this room so I think he's just gonna like, just take it all in like he knows that Dante is a spellcaster and everything Ooh, let me just take a photo of this one of our i mean like they've hugged so many times but this is like the thank you so much for the best room my dream room ever sort of hug dante is gonna be the best um brother-in-law ever i'm so happy for him i don't mind that he skipped a day of school okay maxwell has reached social level five lovely well and um i'm going to leave maxwell to I don't know, maybe he can just draw some vehicles now that he has his own room now. He's gonna be so happy. This room is so much better than my last one, I'm pretty sure he's saying. And then we're just gonna get Killian to come over here. He's going to go check out Dante's room. I actually don't know if he's ever been to Dante's room because of circumstances. We're gonna say no, which is also kind of odd, but Dante has always gone over to his room instead. Um, and honestly, like I think they've met each other. Um, oh, and um, Killian usually goes to his old house at um, Gleamerbrook as well. So so this might be his first time seeing Dante's room at home. I want them to like make future plans and stuff. Let me see. I know that there is an interaction that we can do that. Talk about life together. Yeah, let's let's do that too. They're gonna talk about how they have their entire lives ahead of them now. And it's like the beginning of a very long partnership together, a very long like relationship together, and they're gonna be super happy. Be I'm super happy about them becoming together and uh, moving, like taking a huge step forward in their um, lives and like joining their lives together and stuff. Oh no, he's sad about not being the favorite. Why can't Killian be the favorite? Killian, you understand why? It's okay. Yeah, he, he's getting over it very fast. It just stung a little bit. I think it's like only appropriate for them to share a little tender kiss and saying, I love you. I can't wait for this life with you. I mean, like, I'm so happy it's here as well. They're like, they don't have to wait anymore. Oh my god, they're so sweet. But yes, okay, I'm going to stop right here while they're mid-kissing. Thank you so much for watching all the way to this point. If you have, I'm so happy that we are finally at this point in their relationship. And I can't wait to see what's going to happen next. Um, so I'll see you in my next video, guys. I appreciate you very much. Take care, everybody. Bye. It's fine. Sunday breakfast in bed. Strawberry jam on some bread And if you feel like doing anything today Then go ahead I just lay here instead Cause I do the same for you Just like I'm supposed to do I'm yours You're mine Sure, I've been there too. We 
just pick up where we left off, then we tow the line. That's fine. If you ever feeling blue, rest ashore up in there too. We just pick up where we left off, then we tow the line. Cause I do the same for you. Like I'm supposed to do. I'm yours, you're mine. If you ever feeling blue, rest ashore, I've been there too. We just pick up where we left off, then we tow the line. That's fine.